there's theater in everything. There's theater in maths, there's theater in science, there's theater everywhere. But pure theater, the act of art and storytelling, deserves its place um, in, in the world. My name is Kate Mulvaney. I am an actor, a playwright. I like to think of myself as a professional storyteller and I am a graduate of Curtin University. Don't be an artist 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Make sure that you uh, break up with it every now and then. Sometimes when you are completely entrenched in a show or writing a piece or um, the world of the entertainment industry, it's hard to see the wood from the tree, hard to separate the wood from the tree. So you must step outside and look at everyone else because you're telling their story as well as yours. Surround yourself with people that make you feel good about your art, but you can also take constructive criticism from. It's important that you open your ears and your eyes to that person's experience. And if they have a little bit of constructive criticism, and you'll always know the difference between constructive criticism and cruelty, and the, the many kind of flavours in between. It's not about developing a thick skin, it's actually about developing an open heart and mind and taking it in and again, trusting your gut and going, okay, I'm gonna take that. That was a really interesting point and I don't think I need that. When you are telling a story, be it on a page or on a stage, drop breadcrumbs for the audience. Don't give them the gingerbread house straight away. Audiences are savvy, they're smart, they want to work the story out for themselves, and our job is to lead them through the forest, dropping those little delicious breadcrumbs of information rather than spoon feeding. The best thing you can do to progress your career, uh, not just in the arts, I think in anything, is to educate yourself. Make sure you have the knowledge that is required before you enter into a dialogue with anyone. If you're going into an audition with a director that you haven't met, you make sure you know exactly what their work is and the shows that they've directed and the, the kind of director they are. If you're working with actors, fellow actors, it's really, really good to know things about them. It's respectful. If there's one piece of career advice I could give a young artist, it would be to take risks, be bold, and trust yourself, trust your gut. And keep going, <laughs> keep going, just keep going, yeah. <laughs>